Hey everyone, welcome back. We're continuing our talk today again about productivity. And today specifically, we're gonna talk about automation with respect to creating templates. This is part of our broader discussion about productivity for doctors. And if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you check it here. So I gave this presentation in a recent British Columbia orthopedic update, and there were many questions specifically about the automation part and how to create templates specifically on Cerner power PowerChart, which is what our health authority has gone to. So this video will be about how to use and create dynamic templates that will save you time and make you more productive. My name is Dr. Adrian Long, and I'm an orthopedic surgeon who helps young and aspiring doctors achieve success and balance in their careers. So once you log on to PowerChart, what you're gonna to wanna to do is go to the top toolbar and hit auto text copy. Now, if you don't see it, it could be hidden under these little buttons here. If your screen isn't wide enough. So hit auto text copy and this will bring you up to your auto text library. And this is where all your preset templates are stored. If you wanna create a new one or edit an existing one, hit this manage auto text icon and this frame will pop up. And here's where you can edit existing ones. But today, what we wanna do is create a new one. And so you hit the small blue plus sign and it brings you up to this new pane where you can create your new template. So the first thing you wanna do is put in your abbreviation and this is how you call up the template. So it starts with dot dot and something simple like consult note or just consult. And the description will be your full description, which is new consult note. And then you simply start creating your template. If you have access to a dictation software like Dragon or Emoto, I highly suggest you use that to help dictate into here because again, that will just add to the efficiency of creating the template. As we create our template, you're gonna see there's many tools we can utilize to help us along. For example, we can use tokens, dropdown lists, and jump tos. So the first thing we'll talk about is using tokens and dropdown lists to add into this to make it a little more dynamic and a little more personalized. So as we create the template, I'm gonna address it to the referring doctor. And what I can do is look up the data tokens in here, this icon, so I click it, and almost for any metric, you can find something that will help pre-populate it as long as it's in the patient's chart. So this makes it again more efficient and more personalized. So this, I will look up referring doctor, and there is my uh, referring uh, provider that's gonna pop up, and then I'll start typing. And I will want to put their name in, again, simply look up patient name, and again, there's a smart token, smart template for that. Same thing for age and gender and what they were referred for. So you can see very simply, I've made a very personalized and dynamic opening sentence using only smart token. I'm gonna to continue creating this template and the beautiful thing is you can make these templates almost however you want to and design them for your personal needs. So as you can see here, I've created my note. And so there are a couple of things that you may notice. So first of all, as you notice, there's essentially a data token that's available for any metric that can be pre-populated. So I've entered all of those in here. So make sure you play around with those. The other thing is you can notice under clinical note, I have this underscore, and this is the idea of that jump to. Underscores are great for this because what they allow you to do is to jump to that specific location by just hitting F3. And this is great for your workflow where if you need to enter free text, you can continue dictating on your microphone and without skipping a beat, you just hit F3 and it brings you right where you need to dictate next. In addition to the underscores, you can also mimic this by using square brackets. So if you have a microphone that's compatible, such as one of those Emoto or Dragon microphones that has a next button, if you enter a square bracket like that, it achieves the same function by pressing the next button. I find that in my clinic, because I have a lot of trainees, they come through and unfortunately don't have access to our dictation system. So it's much easier and user friendly for them to have access to the F3 button. The other thing you can do is add in drop-down menus. As an example for the social history, as an upper limb surgeon, what I always have to ask is hand or dominance, but then fortunately there is no token for that. So what I can do is go into this icon, create drop-down list, and create a drop-down list that I can quickly select as I'm using the template. As my default, most people are right hand dominant, so I will enter that as my default. You can see here I can add other options, including left hand dominant, or even being ambidextrous. Make sure you choose whatever you want as the default using these buttons here. And you can save that, and you can see that that will now be created in here. So once I've done this, I'm gonna save this, and you can see under consult test, this is where it's going to be. Once I X out of there, the beautiful thing about this is if I wanna share this with my colleagues or my trainees, they can now look this up. All they have to do is under their auto text library, they can look at my name 
and my name will come up here and they can select which ones to copy. And that way I know that whoever's coming to my clinic, if even, if, even if it's their first time here, their note will be standardized the way that I want it. So if we now go and try that out, all you have to do is type dot dot C and scroll down to consult test, which is the one we brought up. And you can see everything is pretty popular. Unfortunately, this test patient doesn't have a referring provider, but it does have most of the other things in here. If you're like me and you have many procedures or patients that fall under the same umbrella, such as upper limb, but they're not exactly the same and there's a little bit of a variation, a great strategy is to create several partial templates. For example, when I'm dictating my operative notes, they are not always the same. So I have created several partial templates. So for example, when I'm dictating my pre operative preamble, I bring up dot dot clin pre, and I can select various things, such as whether they had a general anesthetic or a sedation. I can select whether we use a tourniquet or not, and I can select what position they are placed in. And once I've done that, I can now bring up my actual operative notes. So for example, I'll do OR tonal shoulder, and this is quite standardized. So once I've created all that, that is a wonderful way of utilizing templates so that you can even account for variability in your dictating. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, please consider subscribing. See you guys next time.